Okay, hey guys, so I'm going to be giving you guys a review on five products that two of my subscribers asked me to give them reviews on. So let's jump into it. If you guys want to see the reviews as well, just keep on watching. Okay, so the first things that I'm going to be talking about are the Milani um, eyeshadow eyeshadows and then um I heard a lot of good reviews on these. They are these are expensive. Like for a drugstore I would say. Um I think they're they're like six to seven dollars. Um but honestly the pigmentation is incredible. Let's start with this one. This one is Bella Ivory. It looks like that. And then oh Snapo like can you see it? I don't know if you can. I should have done it in this hand. Um, but the pigmentation on these are amazing. Let me show you on my other hand. Like, this is an ivory color, but it's still, you know, it's really beautiful. And for me, I really enjoy these a lot because I don't like my eyeshadows powdery. I know most of the eyeshadows are, but some of them are like satiny, and I love when they're satiny and pigmented. So for me, these work wonderfully, and I've been wanting to try them out. Um, but yeah, so then this one is in the color Bella Bronze, and it looks like this. Let me swatch this one for you. Like, look at my finger. Like, look at the pigmentation on this. The thing about these, um, if you don't like that much glitter or like shininess to these, these have a lot of shininess. So, um, like if you guys saw my tutorial that I did, if you haven't, go watch it. I'll leave the link down below. Um, you could tell that my eyeshadows are like, have like little glitter, little shams going on in there. Um, so that could be a downside to it if you don't like that because I know some cream, some eyeshadows are satiny and everything, but they still have like a matte finish. These have like glittery, like, I don't know if you guys could tell. This one looks kind of matte, but it has, um, shininess or like glitter. And, and I still have some like on my fingers. Like, that's how crazy the pigmentation is in these eyeshadows. So sometimes it may be scary um, because it's a lot of pigmentation, but as long as you blend, girls, you'll be good. And then the last one that I was really, really excited, I was excited for this one. And then for this one that is Bella Copper, and it looks like this. Like, this is just the perfect color for fall and everything, and I was just... And then this one, I don't know if you could tell, it has, like, you see what I mean by the glamoury, the shimmery glitter stuff? So then I swatch it, and then it looks like that. I'm going to press it on my finger. I, mean, I am not a left-handed person, so that's the color that you get. Like, crazy. I'll tell you, I love them. I never owned a Milani eyeshadow um, like these, but I'm really... Um, the packaging, like this, is really cheap. Like, it's so lightweight. Like, it's crazy. The packaging I like because it's like goldy. I'm not a goldy person, but I just like because it looks fancy. But as soon as you pick it up, it's like so light, like it's crazy. But the the thing is, like I said, there is glitter. Like the brown one that I showed you, this one I think is matte. But this one right here has glitter. Like I can see the little sparkles and everything. So that may be like a downsider. But rather than that, I think it's good. So next, let's go with the bronzer blush. I got kind of confused, but I read it. But okay, next so is that one. Winter, I mean fall is here, and the thing about fall and summer. During summer, it's more bronzy, but like shiny, cor not corally. Yeah, kind of like corally bronzy um, glow for summer, and then for fall is more dark tone bronze with matte look. But my weird self, as random as I am, um, went with this one from Milani. And I honestly thought it said, like, because I read the back, I guess, and it said, this is Bellamoso Bronze, and this is Baked Blush. So no wonder it was like, and this one has like shimmer on there too. Shimmer is the word I was looking for. 
Um, and this one I really like it. Let me show you. Um, let me give you a swatch real quick. It's kind of like the eyeshadow, but it's a little lighter. Like, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm so sorry. I do. I am using this one. I am using this one. Um under like my blush and my bronzer because I don't know I just feel like it adds a little right now I don't have it because my makeup's gone by now um so this one I really recommend it as well it costs like $7 7 to 8 I believe so they are expensive Milani products are a little on the expensive side but I mean they're worth it the um I like them um and yeah okay so I need to hurry up because my battery is dying okay so then the cover girl ready set gorgeous um this is what it looks like and honestly i just kidding i really 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 like this foundation the thing is on this one okay so yeah this foundation um let's start with the cons on this foundation cons is not that bad it's just that I feel like it has a little bit of product in here. Like, literally, it's just, like, this much. And look how thin it is. Like, it's really thin. And, okay, I would use this if you're going to travel for the girls that don't wear a lot of makeup. Um, if you just like to wear, you know, once a week or, you know what I mean? Like, if you don't wear a lot of makeup, like, you just wake up, put mascara on, or, you know, just simple stuff. Because, for me, this one... It is full coverage. Let me show you. And this one you gotta be careful because a lot gets out. Like, not a lot, but see, this is it. And it's really lightweight, but it has a lot of coverage going on. Like, I like my foundation. So I'm really happy with this foundation. And, okay, you know how I said the bad thing about this one is that it has a little bit. But the good thing is that a little bit goes a long way with this one because honestly the coverage on this is so awesome like I just put a little bit and I'm pretty sure I could cover my whole face with just a little drop um because I know like for summer I had a BB cream and that one had a little bit too but that one if I put a little bit it was just like coverage so that one I knew I knew what I would use it for which was just if I was in a hurry, I wasn't trying to wear a lot of makeup, if I was going to be, you know, doing something and didn't want to waste my foundation on something, I would just pop on a BB cream and, you know, because it, it would cover, but it wouldn't cover all my imperfections, it wouldn't cover my, you know, what I mean, so it wouldn't cover everything. And I like my foundations to be full coverage. Like, if I put you on my face, I want you to be, cover, you know, everything. So with this one... I feel that it does that even though and another thing I like that it's lightweight like if you put this on and it's so creamy it's like it's not liquidy it's like cream and it's lightweight like I feel like this you put it on like you can't feel it like it's lightweight there's some foundations that when they are full coverage some of them you know or even if they're not full coverage some just are like you can feel that you have makeup on you get me some but this one's so lightweight. This one reminds me of the Cover... Oh, it is from CoverGirl. The CoverGirl 3-in-1, the one with the blue cap. Reminds me a lot of that one. Okay, so I will be doing a makeup tutorial on this one. So, yeah. Um, so you guys see how what a full coverage it does to my face and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any more reviews you want me to do on any of the products that I bought, which I will leave the, um, the video down down in the description bar so if you haven't watched it you can watch it if you want any reviews on anything just leave them down below and pretty much yeah or you can leave them on my instagram well no you could just leave them right here and yeah and by the way i have an instagram always check my description bar because all my important things and details are down there so yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and don't forget to like subscribe any comments, you have any questions, suggestions, just leave them down below and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys. And excuse my makeup, I had a nap.
and I woke up and I was like I woke up like this no and then I was like why not just squeeze them in you know because you guys are important to me so I had time right now and I'm like even though I look scurry scurry I want to show you guys the reviews or talk about the reviews so yeah but y'all oh my gosh great news that's coming your way I have exciting exciting news so it's not that exciting but for me it's like kinda but yeah so I hope you guys are having a wonderful I'm sleepy anyways I'm gonna go do homework so bye guys